Hey, I'm the Chad, and we are continuing 12 Nights of Terror with Christmas Night, a game that was totally off my radar until a couple days ago, and I don't know how. I think this is going to go down as one of the best Christmas horror games ever. I know you guys are going to like it. Let's jump in. Vanessa was a 12-year-old girl living with her mother. Her parents decided to divorce due to severe incompatibility. Her mother wanted to raise Vanessa with superstitious beliefs to broaden her horizons and imagination. Therefore, she constantly talked to her about Santa Claus. There were two things Vanessa wanted in life, to see Santa Claus and to be able to see her father again. The Christmas Eve that the little girl had been eagerly waiting for had arrived. Let's see if Vanessa can see Santa Claus and, being a good kid, get the gifts she wants. So it's, uh, what time, 11.45? No, 9.45, right? Okay, man. Yep, I am a pro. Okay, this game looks really nice. Hey! This is like a custom-built game. Dear Santa, there's a letter for Santa. Yeah, like these are not all generic store-bought assets. That's creepier than it needs to be. Damn, yeah, I love the aesthetic of this game. I love how everything looks like it was made just for this game, too. That's great. I have a feeling this is going to be a freaking masterpiece. Divorce agreement. Whereas, oh man. Okay, is, is this the first time we're finding out that our parents are divorced? No, probably not. Because they don't live together, right? Yeah, she doesn't hasn't seen her father in a long time. Poor kid. Man, divorce sucks so bad. I hate, I hate divorce. I've never been a fan of it. Oh, cool. You actually can see our reflection fairly well. What's this? Empty. Okay. Damn, I'm absolutely blown away by this game so far. This is great. Okay, sorry about that screen tearing there. I don't know why I've had more issues with screen tearing lately. It's so weird. Oh, is that like the kid's sink or something? Like a bird bath in the bathroom. I like hear like... Uh, oh, what is that song? Ball heater. I hear Christmas music quietly in the background. Oh, look, we got a turkey roasting or chicken, something like that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Looks so beautiful. What do we have here? Vanessa, your uncle has gotten sick and they have taken him to the hospital. I had to leave urgently, so I apologize for not being able to tell you beforehand. Don't worry, I will return shortly. I have locked the doors as a precaution, so please stay at home and take care. By the way, I left a pizza in the fridge for you. You can cook it in the microwave. Also, do not forget to hang the note you prepared for Santa Claus on the Christmas tree. Did I find the note you prepared for Santa? Okay. That was on our end table. All right, yep, okay. Yeah, let's go put this on the tree. Uh, so far, my thoughts on this game, first impressions, 
um, is that this is going to go down as a freaking masterpiece of a game that you have to play every Christmas. It's just so damn good. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Like, gosh, damn. Diary updated. Warm up the dinner and mom prepared. Okay, cool. So, yeah, the more I see beautiful games like this, the less I am inclined to tell people that, yeah, it's cool that you make a game in Horror Engine. <laughs> That's going to look just like every other game. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Horror Engine's great, but damn. Making a game look unique is just so much better. Just looks so, so good. Is it going? There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's just beautiful. But, I mean, each each type of game has a different, you know, aesthetic that fits that game and works for that game. So, I'm not going to say every game made in Orange and or, or just like a Unity store asset flip is bad or unreal engine <laughs> because they're not i like watching tv while i eat let's do it why is this chair like this it's driving me crazy yeah no Ooh, i hope we get to play that TV, maybe we gotta use the remote here. All right, let's see. The hell are we watching? Is this house? Oh, okay. Cute. <laughs> we getting tired here? What's going on with the? Upstairs. Ooh, I don't think I want to. Oh, that got dark. We need a flashlight. Stat. Okay. Hopefully, there's a flashlight if we go upstairs. Uh, hope there's not somebody bad. Damn, it's dark up here. Holy smokes. What is that? Oh. Oh, this poor kid. I've got kids this age. This makes me really sad already. What do we got here? Santa's task list. Hi, Vanessa. It's Santa Claus. Would you like to play a game? The rules are simple. You just need to complete what I say before the time runs out. If you win, I will give you the toy you want. But if you lose... You will remain on my naughty list. Your first task is to light the candles in the house within four minutes and turn off all the lights. Don't worry, I have left a glow stick for you so you can see. You will need to find the flashing light for the next task. Oh shit! So, okay, light all the candles in the house and turn on the lights before the time runs out. What does this glow stick do? Is it just like my flashlight, basically? Okay. Here's the candle. Why can't we light it? Oh, no. Hold on. I think I've seen a lighter downstairs. Right next to the microwave. But it didn't highlight before. Ha. Okay. So, turn off all the lights, light all the candles. Where are the candles? That's not a candle. Oh gosh, four minutes. Candle. This is not going to be enough time. This is not going to be enough time. Candle. Candle, candle, candle. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Turn this off, I guess. There we go. Um, That looks like a candle. I'm not even going to complain. I always complain about the damn thing that I hate about these horror games so much. And this just did it, but I'm not going to complain. Because, yeah, obviously I feel that way about them. Say it. Okay, I will say it. <laughs> Is there a phone ringing? There was a phone in mom's room. Where the hell's the light switch down here? Right here. Okay. What I hate is that when items, like, you can't interact with them until you do something else. That drives me crazy. So, like, that lighter, it didn't highlight the first time I went over it. Where the hell is the light switch from here? It's outside the door. Why do they do that? Um, gosh. We'll answer that after we light all the candles. Oh gosh, that's scary, but that's just me. Okay. No, quit ringing. Hmm, it's weird. Mom would never leave her phone at home. Um, yeah, and like, I don't know. Just let me grab the freaking lighter whenever I first see it. You know, because then it makes me think, oh, it must be somewhere that I haven't been yet because I saw one already and I couldn't light that one or I couldn't pick up that one. The hell. It's like. How do we turn the light off? Right Time is running out. Oh, it's creepy. Did we do it? You have become the true master of darkness. Yeah. Now what? Find the next game note. Okay. Then. It was glowing last time, right? It was really obvious. So let's find it. But um, like it's only like these horror games that do that. That uh, make it to where. Shoot, it could be like in a drawer or something. To where you can't just like grab an item from the first time you see it and then use it. You know? Like, I don't know. I'm just thinking like an RPG or something. If there's something in the game that you're able to uh, use ever, you can just grab it like the first time you see it. Reset and jump okay. Santa's Task List 2. It was an easy game, wasn't it? But you'll have to do more than that to get on the good kids list. Are you ready for the next game? One of the must-haves of Christmas is the Nutcrackers. I brought you, I brought a few for you, hidden them in different places. I want you to find five Nutcrackers within five minutes. Okay, first one's easy enough. Five nutcrackers. Start on this end of the house. <coughs> All right, two nutcrackers down. Uh oh, the hell's calling? Hey, are you there? I tried calling you on the phone and I saw something in the newspaper and I was worried. Are you okay? I saw something in the newspaper. Vanessa, is that you? What the fuck? Who the hell are yeah. you? Oh, uh. Uncle? Uh. Make me look over here for her. Was that actually my real uncle? <gasps> what was that? Oh, shit. Did I leave this light on earlier? Let's go turn on the main light. A little bit easier. 
Dude, that thing had like red eyes and shit. Santa doesn't like the you know, more than two lamps. Do I have one more than two? Uh, hey, there's the nutcracker. Cool. What are we at now? Three, four. Can't get there. Uh, I played plenty of horror games. You need to find a ladder. That was the easiest ladder I've ever found. A stick. Looks like a cane. Maybe a candy cane. Oh. I didn't realize there's a timer there. Oh, shoot. Okay, we got to find this other one quick. All right. Other nutcracker, other nutcracker, other nutcracker. A key is you needed. Could, key is needed. That's great. Right, is that a pack of cigarettes? Looks like it. And is that a cigarette? Why is there just cigarettes kind of just laying around the house? That's weird. That one, that last one looked like it was like burning still. We found the last one. Oh. Sick. It's actually pretty easy. Santa's task list three. You're a really talented kid. Your mom must be proud of you. But we still have our game on. I think I messed up the fireplace when I arrived and it's starting to get cold in the house. Your mother will be angry with you if she sees the house like this. Why don't you go find eight pieces of wood for the fire? I'll give you eight minutes to do that. Okay, let's see. What are eight pieces of wood going to look like? Why are these lights keep coming on? I think... I can probably use um, a piece of wood. Use the lights to my advantage. If we can have two lamps on at a time, I'm thinking I can like always have the light on in the room that I'm in. Which uh, should help a little bit. Gosh damn, this game is just so pretty. Dun, dun, da, da, da. Okay. Wood. That log did not. It said she put the key in a safe place. Oh, maybe as in the safe place? Is that I look in here already? It's probably the first place I looked, wasn't it? I don't know why there would be logs in the kitchen. Anyways. Okay, let's go back upstairs. I am so floored by how pretty this damn game is. And the sounds are perfect. They're not overbearing. This is a really, really, really good game. And I'm wondering how I'm just finding out about it right now. Like, it's been out for a little while now. There's not going to be wood in any of the drawers, I hope. Dude, we are... Not doing good so far. We found one piece of wood. What do we have? Eight minutes, he said? This is really bad. Lucky for us, they do glow when we get close to them. This is a wood at. Oh my gosh, that hand right there was kind of scary. It's weird, I can't go any further than this in the hallway. It's like an invisible wall right there. The attic? Oh, hell yeah. Whoa. Oh, there's lights on up here. I wonder if these are the lights that... If they count toward the lights that are allowed to be on. Family photo. I miss my dad so much. I wish he was with me now. Aw. Oh, he's a military guy, too. So sad. 2012. Hey, I wonder if that's the... It's underlined in red. I can't see... 
Damn, that was loud. <clears throat> News from last year. An unidentified serial killer who emerges every year has spilled blood in the Cordova province this Christmas. The killer dresses up as Santa Claus, murders family members, and abducts children. The police have increased security measures in case of the same incidents happening next Christmas. As a precaution, all citizens are advised to be cautious on Christmas and lock their doors. Oh, shoot. Killer is back. Read the news article. Okay, we just got another achievement. Mom usually puts wood in the basement. I like how they actually like rendered the outside of the house and you can see it through the windows. To complete the task, first you need to find the key to the basement. Okay, let's go check the safe and see if that code works. I have a hard time believing my mom used the picture of the dad as the the code for the basement, but maybe. And it's loud. Hey, nice. Hell yeah. Grab it. Okay, let's go to the basement. I need to see how much time I have left also. It can't be very much. Okay, so maybe mom didn't want to get divorced or something. Maybe she still like loves dad. We've got three minutes. Oh, gosh. If she used his picture. Uh, the date on the picture has the code. Wood. Where does mom leave the wood? Might come in handy at some point. Wood. Okay. Uh, what are we up to now? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more piece. One more piece. One more piece. Eight. Yes. That was it, right? Do we need to go put them in the fireplace? Where the hell's the light switch at? Nope. Oh. There we go. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's eight pieces of wood. I hope that's eight pieces of wood. I didn't get any type of like chime or anything whenever. Has that been on the floor the whole time? Nice. Raise the temperature. You found the firewood and burned them in the fireplace. Uh oh. Where? What did it mean, look back? What did I miss? Oh, dude, the boards, the windows boarded up. Look back. Oh, <laughs> look back. Santa's final note. Congratulations, Vanessa. You have completed all the games and proved that you are better than other children. As promised, I will give you the toy you want. Also, I have another gift for you. Go down to the basement and get ready for some surprises. Don't worry. You will see me when you receive your gifts, and you might even want to find a place to hide from your excitement. Find a place to hide. Ray, is this going to turn into like a survival game? I get freaking chased. <laughs> the door's still open. That's a good thing. Okay. Dude, the sounds are so good. Why won't this light work? 
Damn it, it worked a minute ago. Oh, shoot, there's another door. Okay. This game is fucked. <laughs> toy. The toy I wanted from Santa Claus, but it doesn't matter anymore. There's her arm. Chain. Oh, shit. Why is there a torture room in my basement? Dude. And how's there flies already? Did she not just probably die tonight? Okay, we gotta get out of this house. Don't let Santa Claus see you or you won't have another chance to escape. What? Where the hell do we hide at? Should we go up to our room? Shit. To escape from Santa Claus, you can dodge by walking around objects in certain rooms. Additionally, you can use objects that make sound to divert attention. Oh shit! Uh, can we go upstairs? Will he go upstairs? Where, where can we hide, where can we hide? The loft, you can save your, the loft. Santa can't come here for now. For now, oh no. Okay, what are we supposed to do now? At least we have a safe place. Not in here. We can totally get uh, trapped in here. It's not a good place to go. Can I use my mom's phone? It's gone. Freaking great. Where is he? Where is he? Did he go back to the basement? Ah! Back to the attic. <laughs> back to the attic. Ah! Oh no! Dude, you need to go. Okay. Well, I guess this is a place it told me to go hide. So what is our freaking objective here, anyways? stay out of this room. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he at? Hello, this is 911. What's your emergency? 
emergency. <laughs> Back upstairs. So I hope this isn't just constantly running upstairs to get away from him. I don't know what the objective is going to be, though. Okay. I think we just got one. Uh, the teams have made a possible location determination, and they could be in the area at any moment. Turn on all the lights and electronic appliances in the house to attract the attention of the police. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Let's go. Um, save time when Santa Claus is in the basement. You can lock him in. Oh, cool. Okay, are there any appliances in here? Damn. That was dumb. Light. Okay. And he's gonna catch us if we are in these rooms too far. Wait. Alright, should we go lock him in the basement now? I hope he's in the basement. Lock. Okay, I sure hope he was in there. Turn it all light. Oh, shit. Let's go back upstairs. Okay, that did not save us too much time. Not too much at all. Turn all the lights and electronic plant. Oh, yeah, I already said that. Okay. How do I know when he's in the basement? Do I just have to kind of listen for him? Like, I'm curious just where his path is. Appliance. Open this up, get some more light. Microwave. Okay, we can't turn this back on. So what do they mean by appliances? Just like lamps that you can turn on? Oh, is that locked still? Oh, it's still locked. Okay. There's... Okay. Okay. What else is there? Lamp. I feel like there's a light here. Where's the switch? Nope. Where's the switch for that light? Oh, he's gonna get us. Oh, the TV, the TV. Where's the remote? There we go. Okay, okay. I feel like we have like a lot of time right now. What else do we have to turn on? No. Dude, there's gotta be a light switch for this. But where? Okay, let's run back up to the attic to gain our composure for a sec. Light on. Are there any apply a TV? There we go. Lamp. Oh, I think I hear him. Oh, where the hell is that Santa Claus? Like, do we like lock him, lock him in there? I wonder if there's like an alarm. Oh, there's a radio here. Uh oh. There you are. Ah! Oh shoot! I hope he still can't come up here.
Okay, good, good, good. Turn on the power. Ah, oh, shit, we have to go to the basement now. Back up! Such a jerk. Santa Claus. I always thought you were a good guy. Till now. Gotta admit, though, I did have my suspicions. Okay, he's going downstairs. Got to get to the basement somehow. Quietly, probably. To the basement, to the basement. Gosh, I hope he's not like right in the basement. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Okay. Okay, okay. I said use uh, objects to dodge him. Wait, where'd he go? <gasps> to the basement. Where's the door? Did he bust the door down? Oh no. Wait, power, power. Oh no, we need a handle. Where the hell's the handle? Shoot. Where the hell's the handle gonna be? Uh, oh shucks, I don't think it's down here. Okay, let's go find the stupid handle. Where is he? No! Um. So the lights are still on. Damn it. Do we have to go turn everything back on again? Oh, maybe the lights are off. Oh, I hope I don't run right into him again. That was so stupid. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, good. We're right here. We gotta find the hand. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. At least he's slow. At least he's slow. Okay, he's not always slow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Go! To the attic. Man, there's going to be a point where he probably can come in the attic, and that's going to suck. Is he still coming? Okay, I don't think he's coming. Handle. Handle? Oh, there he is! Oh, gosh. We found that handle so fast. Please don't tell me you can come up here now. Okay, he went downstairs. Dude, this game is so good. It's so good. I like it that this house is not too big either. Please don't be right in front of me. Please don't be right in front of me. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. I wonder if... The handle is already in my mom's room before we go to the basement. I doubt it, because that's never how these games work. But we can try. Shit, it's not. He sounds close. He sounds really close. Oh, I had the handle already. Oh, it saved after I grabbed the handle. Awesome. You survived. Be more careful next New Year's Eve.
Dude, please get him. I want to watch them just light him up. I hope we don't see the police get killed. Watch them get thrown out the windows and stuff. Vanessa managed to survive the tragic incident she experienced. The autopsy results revealed that Vanessa had no involvement in the murder. After her statement was taken, she started living with her father. The investigation into who committed the murder is still ongoing. I guess this is a case of careful what you wish for, right? She wanted to see her dad and she wanted that toy. She got both of them. Wow, so this game was amazing. I cannot believe that I just found out about it. It was so good. It was so beautiful. Everything about it was like, it was a perfect game, a good length. I'm kind of blown away. I wish I knew about it sooner. The story was good. Like it wasn't too convoluted or anything. Like it was all a great little game. Like it's so weird that I'm so like surprised that a game's not an asset flip because so many of them are, which doesn't mean they're always bad, but man, when they're not, it really makes an impression. This is uh, gonna go on my list of top Christmas horror games ever. It's hard for me to put into words how much I like this game. <laughs> All right, this has been Christmas night. I've been the Chad. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.